Hey guys, welcome back to another serving of Food for Thought. Of course, not everything in the reading will resonate, so I encourage you to take what does, and of course, leave the rest. But of course, if you are new to the channel, welcome, and join us as I prepare a bit of Food for Thought. So let's jump right into the energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the messages here for the collective energies? Hmm. So I feel like you could be living in the moment living in the present when it comes to a new beginning a new beginning when it comes to old solutions you could be going through a rebirth releasing something that no longer serves you because you're exhausted tired weary and needing a break from being on some type of hamster wheel hmm. For some of you, this is exhaustion when it comes to a soulmate, a family, or, or some type of connection where someone is triggered or even shocked that you have escaped, <clears throat> run away, or dodged a bullet, and it's causing someone to be under pressure or obsessed because things are silent. There is no action. So I feel like there is no action being taken, and it's causing someone to be obsessed when it comes to you getting away or going through some type of transformation but I feel many of you are so busy living in the moment that you might not even care you're cleansing your energy when it comes to someone who just might be sitting in a space of denial which is only causing someone to be more lost and confused hmm. while you're clearing out the old to finally bring in the new by consciously stepping back from something or someone where there was a lack of respect and even trust. Wow. I feel there was a lack of boundaries when it comes to someone and how they dealt with you. Hmm. I feel like someone caused you to question their love and even their motives or even the effort that you gave into a situation that only put you in a position to save self, cleanse your energy, and someone just might be under pressure or a little shocked by that. So it seems like someone is in denial, lost, obsessed, sitting in a space of cloudy judgment because of a separation or the fact they're wanting to punish you or re retaliate. Hmm. Someone's in the energy of revenge or even payback. Someone is wanting their lick back after you have bruised their ego or caused them to see something that they didn't want to see. This is someone who is used to pretending that life is sweet when they're truly in misery and we all know the saying misery loves company this is someone who is refusing to negotiate hmm. beg or even plead but pretending to have a grip on life when they're really going through chaos and turmoil I feel someone is wanting to reach out to you and they could be on the verge of doing so but I feel that's some sort of entrapment when it comes to someone who is pretending to be a safe space when they just might be your worst nightmare as I feel someone is wanting to pop up hmm, on the verge of reaching out but I feel someone is too stuck in something but I feel they have some type of insatiable urge to cause some type of drama hmm. and they could have a history of this a history of drifting being petty being jealous gossiping but I also feel they're somewhat panicky scared scared that you have cut them off for good or they have cursed themselves because everything is going wrong all at once now that they feel you're now avoiding them I feel someone is stuck on something because they have yet to realize you're over it you're over it you're done you've learned your lesson I feel something is now in a space of completion now that you have seen someone or something for what it is. As I sense your silence is somewhat key, hmm. I feel you could be avoiding a situation and it's causing someone to become obsessed. This is someone who is lost in pretending not to be in denial about being in a space of cloudy judgment. Hmm or just being in denial about this separation with you and the cause of it. I feel this energy could also be in denial about family or soulmate because they're still on this hamster wheel. 
I feel someone is still on the hamster wheel because they're not sure on how to deal with things that are unfamiliar to them. Whether this is new spaces or new things, new way of thinking or being, someone is just not getting it right. I feel like this is someone who is lost but still under pressure, wanting to pull up, reunite, but something is just not the same. It's almost like you guys are like fire and ice. Someone is needing to care for self to even try to care for you. I feel this is someone who has awoken something within you. Hmm. Or this could be their energy as well. I feel you could have tapped into someone's fears, jealousy. Because someone is trying to give you false hope. But I feel it's only driven by their ego. I feel someone is wanting you to be in a space of devastation because they're still trying to justify something. Someone is still trying to justify what they said, what they did, how they chose to treat you. But I feel they have already lost themselves in some type of fake or phony war or competition with you as someone has misplaced their energy, their anger. Refusing to compromise with you. Someone is truly hiding what they feel. Someone is coming out as a false energy. Someone who is doing something out of convenience. Because you're dealing with someone who is unawakened. Because they have yet to deal with their regrets. I feel this is someone who is unawakened. Yet trapping themselves through things that they are saying and doing. Their opinions of you. Mm. This is someone who has a lot of control issues, which is another reason why they're repeating cycles and creating differences mm. by the words and actions. Mm. But something is definitely reaching a peak, a climax within a situation when it comes to someone's so-called love. I feel there are many highs and lows. And many of you are no longer over romanticizing something that you can no longer explain. However, something is intense. And someone who blocked you is now wanting to be unblocked. But I feel this is someone who had one goal, two ways of doing it, but they chose the latter. Which is why many of you are learning the truth about others and even yourself in this season as you're guided by ancestors and even your setbacks as you're no longer the person you used to be. I feel something is very intense when it comes to someone who is blocking you but wanting to be unblocked. I'm not sure how that is coming out. Please take it how it resonates, but something is very intense when it comes to someone who is lost when it comes to love because something is just too toxic. There's no resolution. Something is not a safe space because something is still repeating when it comes to small challenges with someone who has nothing to lose. As you may be in a period of growth, someone is still stuck in limbo. I feel many of you are no longer wanting to be stuck with this energy because there is no respect. And this is why there is no forgiveness. I feel someone feels like you will never forgive them for what they have done. So they have fallen into a cycle of testing you, hoping they can provoke some type of reaction. As it seems they have fallen into a cycle of being petty, all because they can't have it their way or have what they once had with you. I feel this is, is someone who is not wanting to gain access or make the first move. And this is why someone is remaining in the energy of being blocked. Because someone has already tested you to the limit. But I feel there will be unexplained events that will cause something lost in love to be explained. Hmm. Because for someone who once tested you will soon realize the love and energy you gave was never a game. I feel someone is wanting to repeat a cycle with you but I feel many of you have zero tolerance for the bullshit or you're just over the constant drama period which is only causing someone to be more affected or concerned about your silence let's get some more energy here Holy Spirit. more energy here yeah someone is surprised and offended irritated that you are relieved. I feel this is someone who is mad that you are not challenged and on the defense. 
Um, someone is wanting you to be upset, bothered. Someone is wanting you to be in pieces only because they're on the defense. I feel this is someone who is on the defense instead of being grateful. They're also unmotivated while many of you are sitting in a space of being inspired. Many of you are trying to be positive. This energy is being petty. Someone is wanting you to be stressed out because they are aroused by being jaded, jealous, and vengeful. I feel they think it makes them stronger. But I feel this energy only pushes others away just to become wicked, scandalous, doing things deliberately. But I feel many of you have deliberately liberated yourself. Hmm and found a sense of peace. But I feel someone is wanting to put you back in a space of being vulnerable. Someone wants you to feel unwanted. Hmm. They are proud of draining, draining others. But I feel someone's about to be powerless, powerless through change. I feel someone's about to be powerless through change because they're about to be under pressure under pressure on how they disrespected a foundation. Someone's about to be embarrassed and compelled to be quiet. Someone's about to be compelled to be honest or self-conscious about what they say about you. Hmm. I feel this is someone who is ignoring the signs. I feel someone is getting all the signs to show you more respect or give you the positive energy you deserve or give you nothing at all. But I feel this is someone who is testing the limits, not just testing you, but also testing the universe. But I feel when testing you, someone will soon regret not being grateful because I sense in so many ways playing with the universe or the most high, being stressed out will be the least of their worries. I feel this is someone who will have to deal with their guilt even though they want you to feel you are at fault. I feel you are also watching how someone is playing something out. You're giving someone enough room to play themselves when in so many ways they feel like they're playing you. But I feel they're about to soon find out that regardless of the situation, odds will always stack against them because they were always meant to lose. I feel many of you are moving differently. Someone's a little upset about the fact that you are not dealing with them or you're just relieved in a better space without them. I feel this is leaving someone baffled because someone always thought that you would be connected in some way. But I feel this is the very reason someone is choosing to have choice words about you because I feel many of you have become a challenge. For many of you, you know this energy has no reason to have any hate or carry any animosity, but I feel it's the fact that you are a challenge or something that you are doing is shocking or unfamiliar to them that is causing them to react to you in the way that they have. Let's get some more energy here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. And pull one from the top. Wow. So someone has a very strange way of reaching out or showing they care. Many of you feel like this energy doesn't even care at all because this energy always seems to make choices when they are thinking of self from a very petty space. But I feel someone is being a challenge towards you because they're wanting you to be chained to something. Someone is wanting you to, to be codependent. Someone is wanting you to be weighed down. Be weighed down by the highs and lows that they cause. This energy is coming out as someone who is salty. Someone who is feeling like you have wronged them when in fact they have wronged you. This energy is coming out as a spiritual narcissist. Someone who is bitter and very dramatic. For many of you, there's also a sense of jealousy here. For someone who is numbing the pain, self-medicating, please take it how it resonates, but someone could be drinking away their problems, numbing the pain of the fact that they are a people-pleasing 
people pleaser wanting to be pleased. This is someone who is tiptoeing around the facts because they're choosing to. Hmm. Someone is tiptoeing around the fact that they blocked you out, but now someone is wanting to be unblocked. Someone knows that you are a key player, a very important person, but I feel this is someone who always leaves you shaking your head because nothing they do or even say ever makes sense. For many of you, they could be dealing with others who are fake friends, two-faced energies, who have hidden atten intentions or agendas here. But there's a lot of heavy emotions surrounding them that they're not paying attention to. Yet I feel it might be the very thing that brings them to their knees. Because this is someone who is still being petty, immature, small-minded, still not keeping it real. Yet this energy is acting ruthless, still being savage, and giving no fucks about anybody else but themselves. As they're still speaking meaningless words or allowing others to speak on you even if they don't know you. Where someone is exposed to a situation where they're attached to other energies who are trying to send some type of spiritual attack on you. This could be a group of people or energies where everyone is affecting others or everyone is affecting each other in a very negative way where others are getting over on others or they're just tricking each other or taking each other's resources. But regardless of the fact, I feel these energies are only bringing out the worst in each other. I feel there's a lot of savage energy here and no one's being honest. But I feel many are already showing their true colors, being petty, and I feel the struggle is real when it comes to someone who is going through a very frustrating situation, and, and I feel they could be taking their anger or frustration out on you, and this is why things seem so lost and confusing to why they're being so harsh or even taking things out on you. I feel this is someone who is going through a, a lot of delays. They're facing a lot of losses. I feel this is what they're trying not to show, Someone is having trouble paying bills. Someone is having trouble keeping their mental space together here. And for many of you, you know something about them is off. More than usual. I feel this is someone who thought that you were going to follow or be easily led within a situation. As it seems this person or a group of people who know that they have done you wrong or they're doing you wrong are still trying to flip a narrative because it's the only way they can find any peace in what they have done. I feel someone wanted you to follow or someone thought that you would be easily led, swept up into a situation, but I feel that is their energy. Someone got swept into something where there is thievery, there is illegal activity. This could also be dirty money. I feel someone is swept up into close friends or energies they thought that were they were close to, but I feel this is someone who is swept up in a squad. Wow. That is causing a lot of frustration. I feel someone is choosing not to take the high road here because they're throwing shade, criticizing you, disrespecting you, judging you, wanting to put you on blast. Someone is wanting to call you out because they're coming out as being extra. Someone is really overdoing it, but I feel it's in some type of attempt to cause some type of toxic connection with you. A trauma bond. But I feel many of you are having to disconnect from someone who is thinking that they're being charming, but someone is not being able to finesse you. It's only causing someone to become more rebellious, become more of a problem because they have never been part of a solution. In fact, I feel this is someone who has cutting remarks, hurtful words, and I feel it's been a long journey when it comes to someone who has always been deceptive, dishonest, faking it till they make it, because something is always off about their energy. Something is just not right. They're always sugarcoating the truth, altering what is being seen or heard, or even sending some type of subliminals towards you, low-key digs, calling someone else out so they don't have to deal with their own pain. I feel this is someone who wants to bounce back. <laughs> But I feel they're trying to do it in a way where they're trying to look like they're unfazed, like they don't care. But I feel you're moving fast in a different direction while someone is dealing with sneaky links. There is a side piece, a hidden lover, or a low-key situation that is tying someone down and keeping someone lost. 
but I feel it will be that same situation that reveals everything. I feel you staying on your high vibes or just allowing nothing to break you in this season is definitely going to affect those who thought that they could shake or break you. But I feel someone is sitting in a space where they are the ones who are broken or destroyed. Hmm. Something has definitely gone beyond repair and many of you are very unapologetic about it. Many of you had to do what you had to do when it comes to someone who was so bent on hurting you because they're in pain. But I sense you choosing the high road was definitely shocking for those who are living in a land of make-believe, still not keeping it real with you or anyone else. Someone is definitely going through a, a frustrating situation, a rough patch, where they're hating the fact that they are blocked out from you. Someone hates the fact that they have no access, and this is why someone's truly being petty or immature with you. I feel this is someone who is quietly trying to figure out how you have outsmarted them, or it could be sorting through recent information about you that's caused them to reflect on what they once thought they knew about you. Yet even though this energy is tiptoeing around the facts, I feel like they're still not speaking a truth. Even though they know they've wronged you, they're choosing to stick to the script. Even if they know, it's all a lie. As I sense, low vibrational conversations is, are definitely taking place when it comes to your energy. And I feel this is where all the small challenges are stemming from. I feel like there's small conversations going on about you in a false environment where the expectations of you are close to perfection. Wow. But as I said before, you are dealing with a spiritual narcissist, someone who is very complex and very manipulative, someone who is always letting you down and wanting you to feel some type of way about yourself. But I feel someone is sitting in a space where they're still trying to tear you down every chance they get just so they can keep you changed, just so someone can keep you chained, tied and bound to something that doesn't even belong to you because this burden is not yours yet it is an unhealthy attachment that someone is expecting you to carry I feel there's a lot of unresolved issues when it comes to something or someone who is toxic and as I said before this is why there is no forgiveness yet there are limitations obstacles hmm. There are difficulties when it comes to a home base, a family, a place where something should have been safe, yet I feel there are difficulties because someone took a roll of the dice when it comes to matters of the heart. This is what has something in between worlds. Many of you are wanting to shed something and leave something behind. Especially when it comes to outside influences, the unknown. Many of you are shedding something and expressing yourself. Becoming more flexible. Becoming more flexible as you step into a new season. Wow. I feel you are stepping into a new season where your efforts are about to pay off. Many of you are hitting the reset button when it comes to things that you are now investing in. Whether that is commitments something that is long term something that you have promised yourself but I also feel for some of you you could be putting something off putting something on hold only because you're not wanting to repeat the same mistakes but I feel through lessons learned there is nothing to fear as many of you have turned your pain into power and you're more than ready for whatever is coming your way because you hitting the reset button definitely hit starts some type of ripple effect and it's bigger than you think. There's a ripple effect when it comes to your future. Money matters. A partnership. This is big opportunities for you and your stability. Whatever your heart desires, whatever it is, is coming fast. I feel you're ending something to make room for something bigger. And this is after detaching from something that has become a very sti sticky situation. Mm. Someone is feeling defeated and this is why there's movement towards you. 
but I feel you're doing hard labor which is creating more intelligence you're wiser hmm. you're creating solutions for self and this is why you are going in a different direction and you stepping into a different direction is definitely what you need because it brings in a sense of good fortune good luck windfall this could be spiritually financially this could be in many facets here but I feel for many of you, you may look at this as a big burst of new energy and some of you may look at it as a miracle. This will be a spiritual awakening where many of you are rooting yourself in big ideas. And I also see many of you having a helping hand. This is assistance. This could be assistance from your ancestors or someone in the 3D energy here. Please take it how it resonates, but I do see you moving out of strategy. Something is fluctuating. And it will bring in celebration. Celebration when it comes to you being independent. I see you having many choices, many things being illuminated to you. Wow. But I feel something was very short-lived for someone. Because in due time, you will change the blueprint. I see you searching. Someone searching for what is meant for you. But I feel you're about to receive a bonus. All because of your influence. Your star power. Hmm. I see success for your position. Your skills. I see you taking an adventure. I see you moving forward into something bigger. Something that you didn't expect. This is coming out as reward. Raise. Treasure. A bonus. This could be legacy for you. Stability. Vulnerability. Luck is on your side. Wow. I feel like luck is on your side in a big way and someone can see that. I feel like it's obvious to others, but it just might not be obvious to you. But I feel what is not obvious to you is plain to see for those who are always somehow, some way, trying to drain you of your energy. I feel someone is wanting to be a part of the blessing. Someone is wanting to be in position when it comes to you. But I feel someone may have blown that. Someone may have thrown that away by throwing what they have with you away. But I sense if you really truly wanted to know, this energy couldn't even explain the source of their pain, the source of their hate, or even their discomfort with you, as they almost don't even remember how this all started. I feel this is someone who just got lost in their own misery, their own regret. Someone played this petty game and it just got out of hand. And this is why someone seems so lost. Someone seems to have lost because they have already lost control of themselves, their own life. This is why they are sitting in a space where they have no respect for boundaries. Hmm. And this is why someone who once blocked you is now wanting to be unblocked. Even after they were throwing stones, gossiping, talking, saying meaningless words, someone should have been in a space of soul searching. Because whatever they have built is now coming undone. I feel something is coming undone when it comes to someone's ulterior motives because someone really didn't care about anything and anyone. Hmm. Someone is really being shady with you. But I feel in so many ways the universe has your back when it comes to someone who is cold as ice. I feel something as clear as day as I said before. Hmm. Many of you are in spiritual recovery when it comes to something that is hidden in plain sight. This could be frenemies. This could be someone's ulterior motives. I feel someone is just offended by you being you. And there is really nothing you can do about that. You're just dealing with those who are trying to block blessings. that can never be blocked no matter how hard they try. Hmm. But I feel someone is trying. And I sense they can't control what they don't understand. And I feel that is why someone is so lost when trying to get under your skin or even affect you. I feel someone is feeling threatened by you energetically, spiritually, emotionally, financially. Someone is wanting what they believe you have. Please take it how it resonates. But someone would rather take from you than give to you. Wow, this energy is oozing with poison. Poisonous toxins. Because this energy is unhealed, still stepping into a space where they're just playing with ego. Stepping into a space where they're just playing with pride. 
This energy is coming out as an energy vampire, someone who has no loyalty to anyone. In fact, I feel someone is only irritated by the fact that you are comfortable with self. And your light definitely irritates their demons. I feel you just knowing your worth has caused you to shut someone down. Hmm. Upgrade self and I feel you're divinely connected and protected in doing so. I feel you are experience, experiencing some upgrades. Hmm while someone is trying to weather through a storm. I feel someone is putting on a show, some type of illusion, because nothing that they're living is actually what it seems. But I feel whatever you touch is about to turn into gold, especially when it comes to someone who has broken a lot of laws within the universe. Because while someone was playing checkers, you were playing chess or never even playing the game. Because trying to distract you through fear and drama won't change the truth about them. But this energy is so sidetracked that they're going to try. Yet I sense something will all come together in due time. As something that has gone on for too long is about to reach its peak. And many will have to pay the piper for their harsh words and slander for you. Yet I feel many of these energies are not ready for whatever is coming their way. For many of you, someone is easily bothered at the fact that you're no longer the same or unwilling to share because someone is upset at the fact that they can no longer string something along with you. So they could be holding a grudge because they can't set you up to fail. So it seems like someone's upset because they know they can't control you. So I feel like they have created a hostile environment or they stabbed you in the back because they're haunted by something. But I feel someone could be skating on thin ice by being belligerent, being upset with you for no reason. But I feel this is someone who is so self-absorbed that they could care less about pushing something to the limit as it is the way they gain their attention. I feel like this is someone who likes the attention by any means necessary. This is why they become loud or belligerent. Someone who is stuck in the past or stuck in a space of insecurities. Because this is someone who is seriously laying it on thick. Someone is laying it on thick when it comes to baiting and switching a situation. I feel someone could be wasting their time when it comes to their mouth of lies because someone is still being cryptic about how they changed on you. But they're still playing nice, pretending to not be a problem, hoping that you'll go easy on them. But I feel many of you are already cautious when it comes to someone who is starting from scratch. Zero. Because in so many ways, many of you already know you don't even need them. I feel someone has pushed themselves to a scarce mindset that has caused them to be more childish than ever. Hmm. And I feel someone is just not wanting you to level up or be independent. Hmm. Because they're now easily distracted by this mob-like mentality. They're being dismissive and wearing their heart on their sleeve when it comes to sugarcoating the truth. I feel this is someone who's about to get caught up caught up when it comes to being an imposter. They're about to learn a lesson when it comes to trying to bring shame because someone's about to be humiliated or publicly embarrassed about what they are talking about or oversharing about. Something is about to crash and burn or something is about to backfire when it comes to someone who is not thinking clearly. Because I feel you're in a space of using your intuition. In fact, I feel you're doing so in a great way. So much so that you may need an encore or an applause for what you have done in this situation. Because in the end, you will win. And someone's just going to have to accept that you were more than a challenge. Yet now, a lesson they will never forget. I feel someone could be skating on thin ice when it comes to their mouthful of lies because their insecurities are keeping them stuck in the past. I feel someone could be stuck in the past because they can't control. Can't control, alter, or delete whatever they've been stringing along. But I feel you have really gotten under 
their skin because you're not sharing self. You're not sharing your resources, your energy, or anything that you have once given to them. And some are now placed at a distance while others are cut out of your energy for good. And for many of you, it's not personal. It's spiritual, as they never truly deserve what was given. Yet to their surprise, it won't be given again. However, these energies who killed your name privately won't get away so easily as you're about to be honored and respected publicly. As I said before, despite someone's hate or the fact that someone is wanting you to have some type of downfall, isn't your responsibility or even your burden to carry. As the Most High has a tendency of choosing someone perceived as a nobody and turning them into somebody in front of everybody without asking or consulting anyone. As I sense those who thought they were going to watch you fail is about to watch you win, even if the odds seem to be against you. Yet from what I can see, someone just won't see the truth until it's too late. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the messages here for the collective? What are the messages here for the collective energies? So I do see you persevering, standing your ground, and this is letting me know that you were destined, destined for greatness, and destined to win no matter the cost or who's against you. I see you building bridges. I see you building bridges, not walls, when it comes to the unseen, something that has caused something to put you in the energy of trusting the journey. I see you're silencing the noise, focusing on the end game, focusing on your own journey. I feel many of you are in the first steps of becoming the source of light that many of you are born to be. As I see you turning your pain into power. Hmm. Pain is the fuel for many of you when it comes to conflict and resolution. Closed doors are a blessing because it's causing you to live outside the box. I feel you living outside the box causes, causes you to awaken, awaken to your unique gifts, awaken to love, awaken to your important mission, your purpose. So I see you walking in stillness. Many of you are no longer settling. Many of you are already in the energy of knowing that you are almost there. You are almost there when it comes to accepting. Accepting what is yours or liberating yourself. Because spirit is wanting you to know that nothing, nothing is lost. Nothing is lost as you are guided by your lessons. You're embracing this alone time, this time that you're in hermit mode because you're embarking on something new. You're in the making of investing wisely, whether that is your energy, your love, your emotions, your stability, your resources, whatever this is, you're on the path of mastering something big. So for many of you, you're, you're on the path of mastering something that is really big here. And I feel those who are obsessed with you in some type of way should reconsider or improvise. Do something different. As I sense those who conspire against you in private should reconsider in a very big way. Because I sense they may have forgotten the Most High hears, sees, and feels everything. Favor will always outweigh the collective attack on your life, whether good or bad. Someone is needing to reconsider the energy they're putting out towards you. Because whatever the weapon that has been formed against you will never prosper. As you're already protected and heavily guided, someone's about to understand the hard way that they should have never doubted or even tested a cycle breaker. Because not only are you breaking cycles, you are now reconstructing the blueprint when it comes to something that has held back your legacy, your light, or even your energy. Because whoever this is that is obsessed is about to go through an ego death. Someone is needing to uproot some things about themselves because it's getting them nowhere. Someone is going to have to go through this ego death regardless of what they think that's about to happen because they are fooling with a chosen energy here. 
someone who has a very bright future and I feel impeding on that or trying to distort that in any way will bring a wrath upon their life that will only bring them to their knees because while you're busy being the change they'll be receiving it through significant loss setbacks and failures as some of these energies will never truly grow from their mess or even their conflict which is the main reason why someone may have cursed themselves through their hate for you as their patterns of pain will only be passed on through generations Yet I sense you're breaking the chain, and the pain, it stops here. I feel many of you are definitely on the right path, and this is why someone is going nowhere when it comes to their hate or even their obsession. I feel you're trusting your energy, your intuition, and even your power in this season because you know that you are chosen. You know that you are a guiding light for those who trust you, adore you, and love you. I feel you are now honoring your ancestors. You know that you are a hidden treasure, a rare gem. And this is why you're about to embark on an amazing story. A rebirth, a new beginning to a painful end. As you turning your pain into your wisdom has now accelerated you beyond the hate, which is the true victory. Yet I sense the best revenge here. <laughs> The best revenge is taking the time to heal and grow, despite the hate, because as you become whole, their only choice is to watch you win, as their life become a life lesson of what they have lost. Because I sense once many of you discover what lies beneath and what's within you, and many of you become out of reach, someone will definitely regret standing against you, because what they once had with you may now be out of reach. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading and has gained some food for thought. If so, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Hope to see you again guys. Bye.